Assalamu alaikum. Uh, here's Ahmad Nasser from Birzik University. Uh, today, I'm going to teach you how to download and install the peer service into your WAM server. The first thing that you need to do is installing the WAM server. So, if I go to my computer and try to go see, uh, you can see here I don't have the WAM server, so I need to download it. Uh, there's a previous tutorial that you can watch it. I already have the WAM server file, so let me try to download it. Okay, just click next, accept next, next. Your desktop shortcut install. Click yes and wait a little bit here. Click next, finish launch the WAM server. Click yes. Okay. Okay, now uh, go to the corner. You can see the WAM server over here. Start all the ser all services. So we have a problem in starting the services. To solve this problem, uh, go to start, type CMD. Okay. Uh, type CMD and you can see it here run as administrator yes and we have this new window type the following I is reset we need to uh, shut down the the Windows server so in order to shut it shut down the Windows server you need to type uh, I reset and stop it here we got successfully stopped this the WAMP server the Windows server after that uh, we can go back here uh, try to start all services here we go uh, okay if we go back to C uh, we got the WAMP server here and we got WW file this file is very important because uh, we're gonna put all the folders and projects here so let me try make a new file and make a new page new uh, PHP page and run it in the server so try go other way go notepad plus plus make a new file here and type something PHP okay try go and save this page over here go save as my computer C uh, we go to WAMP sorry WAMP W here we save the file as a PHP so basically PHP and try just save it okay uh, go to your WAM server click WAM server localhost and okay we got Firefox uh, go to the folder here and here you can see we got hello world so this is the first step uh, we make sure that WAM server is working okay after that we need to download the peer in your computer the, the peer led you to use the SMTP service or the SMTP server to, to send emails so in order to do that we have uh, a few steps the first thing you need to download the peer after that you need to do uh, some comments make some comments uh, okay we gotta do that first thing we'll just copy the the link go to the browser okay paste and here we got a new window that let us to download the file the go up here the PHP the PHAR so we need to download this 
click OK and here we download it we need to wait a little bit OK it's 3.5 megabyte so here we're done uh, open the folder we got the folder OK just copy the folder the file uh, go pair the PHP the PHAR you just copy it or cut it go my computer C uh, go WAMP pin file PHP and we have PHP 5.310 maybe you have a different version but you you should keep in mind this number anyway click on that folder and just paste the file here so here we go we got the this folder this file in the this folder minimize the screen after this we need to go to the second step uh, okay which is the following go to CMD again and make sure that you go to the CMD and run CMD as an administrator so just go CMD and try to run it as an administrator okay we got this uh, window and make sure that you go to the file the folder of your PHP and just go there, there and copy the, the path okay copy the path and back to the CMD click on the corner the left corner mark or click uh, CD first after that go edit and paste the link click enter type enter we got here can put direct we, we can see all the directories and the files inside this folder okay we need to go to this folder in order to be able to type the commands that lead us to download all the packages so first thing we have this command PHP uh, go up here so just copy it and come here paste it okay um, no problem okay if this if you see this message you should try other command so if you go to the command list again we have other command uh, let me say PHP should copy this and try paste it again paste press enter you get this message type enter and type enter again okay here we downloading the WAM server the the uh, the pair into the WAM so just click enter again and enter so here we go you got the pair the pair installed into your computer okay after this uh, we need to install the SMTB or NIT SMTB so you just again copy this and paste it okay here we downloading so it's done go to the next step we download mail mime or mail mime so again paste it download it okay here we done but we need to configure the last step which is we need to uh, enable the SSL which is the secure circuit so in order to do that we need to go to let me minimize this and go to the WAM server PHP in I let me minimize the screen got this file bhp and i 
so we need to find uh, we need to uncomment the uh, this line extension PHP open SSL so in order to do that just copy this and need to find it control F find next okay uh, we need to uncomment this line so just remove the comment and we got this uh, uncommented already okay just go file save and go to your server here and restart all services okay we restart all the services we're ready to go okay uh, we have a mail sender here as you can see uh, in the window here we got a mail sender okay this is from uh, I already made uh, a gmail account a gmail email so you can send this email from this account using gmail and you need to provide the username and the password okay and also you need to specify the two where do you want to send this email and what is the subject and the body of the message and you need to put the host which is you just put this if you want to use SMTP but I tried SSL and it's it succeed with me you can put the port must be 465 if you want to use the SMTP just put 587 the username and the password and the header just put the array from to subject and you use SMTP mail factory and just type the host and the port number authentication to be equal to true and the username the password in, in this array okay and then send the message using the SMTP and just make an if statement if everything if we got an error just display the error message and what is the the error for mail dot uh, give message and if everything is went okay we just display a message saying the message is successfully has been sent okay so this is how you uh, configure the mail in order to uh, put this under work you need to just go copy this and go my computer C WAMP WW make a new new folder type new folder let me say mail sender and put the link here okay go to uh, to WAMP server localhost okay we got a new folder here mail sender just type there and we got the script mail sender try to run it just click just go up mail sender we got an, an uh, a problem so to solve this problem it, you need to do the following uh, just close all the stuff go my computer uh, C WAMP uh, should go pin Abashi uh, we just try to find the the PHP the PHP in I file so you find it in the in this location under uh, C WAMP pin Abashi Apache 2.2 bin 
so we need to find the the uh, the PHP in I file so let me just here we go we find it um, I prefer using notepad plus plus it's it's more familiar okay we open the PHP in I file and we just try to find or to put the following uh, I just included the the last tip uh, okay here we go the last tip that I wanted you to do is just include the path so if you if you see this problem that's because we got uh, the mail the PHP which is included in the, this folder I just want to show you uh, go to bin file uh, uh, if you go to peer, uh, if you go to PHP, sorry, PHP, go to peer, you can see mail here, and this mail has, uh, we included uh, this file in the in the in the mail sender, we included this, so this is not defined in the PHP library, so to define it, you need to go to uh, Abashi and pin and as we did uh, to let me just okay to the pin file as we did already so you got this abashi uh, c uh, pin abashi 2.2 php in i file so we need to include that folder that file php mail in this folder so we just uh, copy the script copy the the path from here notice that you need some time to change this so if you have 5.3.10 sometime point 11 you need to change this to your PHP so don't just copy and paste uh, so we need to base this path here in this PHP in I file Okay, just go path and directories inside PHP and I file and just uh, type the path, include path equal to uh, wham pin PHP pair. So here we go, we just included the pair library into our PHP. So let me save this, uh, exit all the, the windows. okay just close everything uh, go to and reset all the services okay uh, we need to go to localhost again okay here we go go mail sender okay okay uh, go to the mail sender script okay just man I need to okay just click okay here we go we just message successfully sent so this is how we uh, configure the pair to work with WAMP server so uh, this is basically uh, how to uh, install it but make sure all the time that when you go PHP in I file, make sure that you have included the bare library in your PHP in I for, uh, for I file. So we have a uh, bath directories, and all the time make sure that you have included the WAM pin PHP 5.3.10. So because I have 5.3.10 here, uh, you need to put it. Uh, carefully so this is is all the story I included the links uh, in the description and uh, I hope you enjoy this tutorial you benefit from this and thank you for watching